What's going on, everybody? Hope you are having a blessed week so far. Today, we're going to be going over my personal method to make unlimited stubs every time the roster update is coming up. So we do have a new attribute update in the next 24 hours. So I'm going to go through step by step a few methods that I use to generate a lot of stubs okay so right now i am close to a half of a million stubs if you interested in these type of videos drop a thumbs up and let's get into the breakdown let's go if you want to complete every collection super super fast head over to my sponsor and use code fat for five percent off your order super fast and reliable all right so this year with the change of the quick sell value you have to be smarter you have to be patient when it comes to making stubs, okay? So what I like to do is sell off of hype. Yeah, baby. <laughs> that is the number one unlimited stub method in MLB The Show 22. You never know exactly who is gonna get upgraded when the roster update is getting near so you want to be very very smart you want to be patient you want to get cards while they are low and then you want to sell them at their peak so this video will go live at about 8 p.m make sure that you turn your notifications on for every time that i live stream i will be live streaming tomorrow and i want all y'all to come rock with me so we're going to go look at my inventory and i'm going to give you a breakdown of exactly what i mean so right now austin hayes is supercharged that made his value go way up so we're going to look at some other cards you can see this Raphael devers 84 overall is over the 3000 quick sell if he goes up the diamond okay so he's got about two to three upgrades already so if you were investing into him at 17 1800 stubs and then you get to Thursday night, which would be later on today, and you see he gets up to 2,800 stubs or more, you will want to take your guaranteed value. Sometimes, if you have the time, you can wake up early Friday and see if he has risen up a little bit more, and then you will want to sell off about 75% of your investments, just in case he doesn't get upgraded and you don't have to wait another two weeks for that value. So if we go right here, to Nestor Cortez Jr. This would be a good investment for you guys. Right now he's over 2,000 stubs to buy. But like I said, if you get on early in the morning and you see him, he's at 2714 to be able to sell off. If you see him go up even 300 more stubs and you were to buy him for 2290, that would be over a 500 stub profit. Go ahead, sell him off. Now, another investment is this one, 1642. Now, on the roster update, he might go down one overall to an 83. But if you are getting him at 1642, you get up in the morning and you see that 2053 that you can sell him for goes up to 23, 2400. You are making over 650, close to 700 stubs. If you were to go out and get about 10 of these real fast, that is an easy 16,000 plus stubs. Okay. So if you go over here to cards like this, these are the cards that you want to get early when they are at 83 overalls. For 1,500 stubs, if you click on this and you go to his quick sell, his quick sell is 1,200 stubs, meaning he's right now 300 over his quick sell. So it's really not too much risk being that you will lose 250 to 300 stubs at the most, but you have the potential for you to get him at 1,500 stubs. He goes up to about 24 2500 stubs or he gets a plus one that will put him close to that 28 3000 range for the next roster update and you are doubling your initial investment tomorrow on stream i will do a thorough breakdown of my exchange method so all you guys can utilize it to the best okay so right here ty france he's a long-term investment that i had over the past two months anybody that's been following the channel and subscribed with your notifications on would have been getting this card at about 1040 stubs now 
We already made about 13 to 1400 stubs off of each and every investment. I actually sold about 15 of them last roster update. So now I only have 24 of these 84 overall Ty Francis. I'm gonna look in the morning. If he goes up to about 27, 2800, I'm gonna sell off about 20 out of the 24 of them. The day of the roster update, in that first hour and a half to two hours, whether you are on your console or on your phone on the app, that is when it's a buyer's market. So when people are trying to hurry up and recoup their stubs, that's when you wanna come in and you wanna scoop up them cards for very, very cheap and repeat the process. If you look in the left-hand corner, I'm at 355,984 stubs using this method mixed with the exchange method. And after the roster update tomorrow, I will be over a half a million stubs very, very easy. The Sandy El Katrina, he has a chance to go up sitting at 3750 stubs. I had a few of them, sold them on the last stream. If you didn't watch the last stream, go check out the channel, watch all the videos and all the streams. Pablo Lopez is not trending up like I wanted him to, but it's still an unlimited stub method because if you buy him today for 1504, even if he goes up to 2000 stubs after taxes, you are making 400 stubs per investment. And all you have to do is wait 24 more hours. You wanna do it before the roster update drops. He might go down to an 83 overall. So you wanna get the stubs off a of hype and that's how you wanna take advantage of the market in MLB The Show 22. Now right here we have Wilson Contreras, 3150, 84 overall. If he goes up to 33, 3400 stubs, I'm gonna feel more comfortable selling them off, taking my profit and put it into the bank. Now this 84 overall Nico Horner is a no risk method. He's already at quick sale value. If you buy him five of them for 1501, you check in the morning. Either he's gonna go up or he's gonna stay the same. If he goes up even 300 stubs, you are making an unlimited stub profit. If he doesn't move at all, if you wake up in the morning and you buy five of them today and he stays the same, you can sell them back off, take your little 45, 50, 200, 300 stub, unlimited profit and call it a day. And you can do that with each and every card in the game. This Bettner, he's trending up. Hopefully he gets up to the 26, 2700 range. Now, if you invest into this 83 overall David Bettner and he turns to 27, 2800 stubs and you get them right now for 2107 or you get them for about 600 stubs using my exchange method, profit baby. Drop a thumbs up on the video and I'll see y'all in the stream tomorrow. Right? Let's go.